G'day, so Botox versus the P-Shot. Which one do you want to choose for erectile dysfunction? You've saved up a little bit of money and you want a single once-off treatment to correct your erection problems. In the next few minutes in this video, I'm gonna give you all the information you need to decide which one of those treatments is the best one to spend your money on. My name's Simon Snook and I'm a sexual and reproductive health doctor and this is the Kiwi Sex Doctor where we give you tips, tricks and hacks for a better sex life. So before I go further into this comparison video, I do have two other videos looking at the effectiveness of Botox and the effectiveness of P-Shot or platelet-rich plasma for erectile dysfunction. So if you want some more information on each individual treatment, you can certainly go and have a look at those videos. This video is gonna compare the two against each other head to head to decide which one is the best for your money. So let's start with how they work. Well, the P-Shot or platelet-rich plasma, the theory is that by injecting this into the penis, it actually causes regeneration of tissues and it makes the blood vessels regrow and give a better blood supply to the penis, essentially reversing some of the aging process. Botox, on the other hand, doesn't change the architecture of the blood vessels at all. What it does is it paralyzes the tiny little muscles around them, which then means they relax and blood flow increases. So in comparison of the two mechanisms, I have to say that platelet-rich plasma is more exciting because it's actually reversing the aging process, whereas the Botox is really just dealing with what we have already there and trying to make it work better. So for that stage, we're gonna give one nil to the platelet-rich plasma. So what about cost? Well, we're talking here about a single one off cost and you will see some great varieties in cost out there um, with the P-Shot or platelet rich plasma. Um, again, depending if you go for the brand name of the P-Shot, which you'll pay more for, or a platelet rich plasma provider, which you could get less for, you're looking at somewhere between $800 to $2,000 US for a single treatment. Botox, on the other hand, it depends how much Botox you have. The more you have, pretty much the longer it lasts for. Not necessarily the better it works, but it lasts longer. So treatments will be there between about $500 and $1,000 for single treatment. So if we're going to score those ones up, obviously we're going to have to give a point to Botox there. So that's 1-1 one, one at this stage. Well, what about how long they last? Well, with the P-Shot, most people are suggesting it lasts about 12 to 18 months. You get that new blood vessel formation, so the architecture of the blood vessels are different. But again, with time, the aging process continues and those blood vessels tend to sort of break down and age again and you would then need a repeat p-shot after about a year to a year and a half. Botox on the other hand doesn't last as long. I said earlier depending a little bit on the dose you're looking at anywhere between about three months to six months effect from the treatment and then of course you can have it again. So at this stage we are looking at a improvement there for the P-Shot over Botox, and we're gonna go two, one, to the P-Shot. Finally, let's look at the evidence for them. Well, in medical circles, the evidence we really look for are something called um, randomized controlled double-blind trials. These are trials where you pit a treatment against a placebo and neither the doctor giving the treatment or the patient getting it knows whether they're getting the real thing or a fake version and we look to see what outcome they have. Um, these treatments are gold standard because they can, it's very hard to uh, fake the results in that and it can move the placebo effect out of it. Now, what we have with the P-Shot is very little in the way of those sorts of trials. We have one and it is small and there are some significant issues with that trial suggesting it works. So we've got a little bit of evidence. We've got a lot of other evidence in less good quality studies that support it, but we don't really have the stuff we really want to grab hold of, which is the placebo controlled stuff. So not a lot of absolute convincing proof for the effectiveness of a P-Shot. Botox, on the other hand, definitely have those studies, albeit those studies are only ever being done in people who have erectile dysfunction that has failed to respond to other treatments like tablets like Viagra and Cialis or Trimix injections. So these studies are done in people with what you think of as fairly more serious or severe erectile dysfunction. But in people with those problems, that treatment definitely works. One treatment will ha help at least half of the people treated, and three treatments in a row will help 90% of them. So with the medical evidence there, we definitely have to give a point to Botox. So at this stage, we're drawing two all. So with things tied at 2-2, which one should you choose? Well, if it was me, the important one of all of those criteria there is the medical evidence. It's much more comforting for me as a physician to ask someone to have a treatment that I have got proof that it works. So so being that the case, I would always choose Botox over the P-Shot if you had to choose between them. But you don't necessarily have to choose between them. They do work in different ways and there is no reason to suspect that combining them would do anything other than be an additive benefit to each other. The big downside, of course, is the cost. 
but there aren't many other downsides. There aren't much in the way of side effects you have to worry about. So if you have the money and you're looking for the absolute best chance of improvement in your sexual health and your erectile function, I would give it a go and combine the two and see how you go. And if you want, you could throw in Shockwave as well. And I do have another video that you could have a watch of on Shockwave therapy if that interests you as well. Well, look, I hope this video today has been helpful for you. If it has, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of other videos here looking at problems with erectile function and other sexual dysfunction issues, as well as some contraception videos. Um, otherwise, do please leave some comments. Your comments are always read. And if you have any suggestions of videos you'd like me to do, I'd be very happy to to make those. Otherwise, take care of yourself and have a good day.